important nerves this humerus is related to the three important nerves on the surgical neck which related to the axillary nerve into the surgical neck which related to the axillary nerve into the radial groove or spiral groove into the radial groove or spiral groove radial nerve is present radial nerve is present or related to the spiral groove or radial groove this is the medial epicondyle behind the medial epicondyle ulnar nerve is there behind the medial epicondyle ulnar nerve is there these are the three nerves which are related to the humerus attachment of the humerus first we see the upper end of attachment upper end this is the lesser tubercle this lesser tubercle insertion of subscapularis muscle is there insertion of subscapularis muscle in on lesser tubercle this is the greater tubercle on greater tubercle three impression are there upper impression middle impression and lower impression on the upper impression that is the supraspinatus muscle is insertion supraspinatus muscle is insertion on the middle impression infraspinatus muscle is insertion infraspinatus muscle is inserted over the middle impression of the greater tubercle this is the lower impression on lower impression teres minor muscle is inserted this is the teres minor muscle inserted on the lower end or lower part of the greater tubercle these are the four muscles which are collectively form the tendinous cup these are the four muscle which collectively form the tendinous cup this is the intertubercle sulcus on the intertubercle sulcus this is the medial leaf on the medial leaf teres major muscle is inserted on the medial leaf insertion of the teres major muscle on the lateral leaf of the intertubercle sulcus pectoralis major muscle is inserted pectoralis major muscle is inserted or insertion of the pectoralis major muscle on the lateral leaf of the intertubercle sulcus this is the floor of intertubercle sulcus on the floor of intertubercle sulcus latissimus dorsi muscle is inserted latissimus dorsi muscle is inserted so in between the two major one layer is there that is the latissimus dorsi deltoid muscle is inserted on deltoid tuberosity insertion of deltoid muscle on the deltoid tuberosity this is the deltoid tuberosity where deltoid muscle is inserted this is the medial border middle of the medial border where coraco brachialis muscle is inserted coraco brachialis muscle is inserted this is the intertubercular sulcus or bicipital groove in between that long head of bicep brachii muscle is passes long head of bicep brachii muscle is passes and also ascending branch of the circumflex humeral artery is passes this is the anatomical neck on the anatomical neck capsule of the shoulder joint is attached capsule of the is remember on the upper end of the humerus all muscle muscles are insertion all muscles are inserted okay now come to the shaft of the humerus this is the posterior surface above the spiral groove lateral head of the tricep brachii muscle is originated and below the spiral groove medial head of the tricep brachii muscle is originated above the spiral groove lateral head and below the spiral groove medial head of the tricep brachii muscle is originated now lower part of the antero lateral surface and antero medial surface of the humerus origin of brachialis muscle is there origin of the brachialis muscle lower part of the antero lateral surface and antero medial surface origin of the brachialis muscle is there this is the lateral supracondylar ridge on the sub, lateral supracondylar ridge extensor carpi radialis longus muscle is originated extensor carpi radialis longus muscle is originated upper one third part and below one third part that is the brachio radialis muscle is originated brachio radialis 
this is the lateral epicondyle this lateral epicondyle is known as the common extensor origin all extensor muscle are originated from the lateral epicondyle so that this point is known as the lat common extensor origin like that this is the medial epicondyle is known as the common flexor origin because all flexor muscle are originated from the medial epicondyle that's why this known as the common flexor origin just above the common flexor origin pronated teres muscle is originated from the medial supracondylar line medial supracondylar line pronated teres muscle is originated along with the trochlear line capitulum the above the olecranon here is a capsule of elbow joint is present capsule of elbow joint is present posterior part of the lateral epicondyle from where unconscious muscle is originated now come to the ossification centers of the humerus humerus ossify one primary and seven secondary centers one primary for the shaft which appear eight week of the intrauterian life out of seven three for the upper end one for the head head of humerus which appear one year of life one for the greater tubercle which appear two years of life and one for the lesser tubercle which appear five years of life they are collectively and form a compound fusion at the age of six year and they fuse with the shaft at the age of 20 years lower end lower end contain the four secondary centers one for the medial epicondyle which appear fifth weeks fifth years of the life and fuse with the 20 years of the life with the shaft the one for the capitulum which appear one year of the life one for the trochlea which appear at the age of nine year and one for the lateral epicondyle which appear at the age of nine years so lateral epicondyle trochlea and capitulum they form a togetherly common epiphysis or compound epiphysis at the age of 14 years and they fuse with the shaft at the age of 16 years this is the ossification of humerus one the applied anatomy of the humerus this is the head of humerus which form the shoulder joint with the glenoid cavity of the scapula like this the head is larger than that of the glenoid cavity so that this shoulder joint is one of the weakest joint of the body so that the head is not holding by the glenoid cavity properly so that most common dislocation of the head of humerus inferiorly is most commonly fractured at the site of surgical neck shaft of the humerus and both side of the supracondylar ridges these are the commonest site of the fracture of humerus this is all about the humerus thank you very much for watching this video